Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to make a small video to show you my regatta. Now, I know you haven't seen much of me on YouTube lately. Just been busy, but I haven't forgotten you and I have a lot of great recipes to show you. So I just wanted to show you something. Uh, we made some regatta for, uh, my daughter wants to make some beautiful ravioli that we're gonna fill with regatta in spinach. And I made fresh regatta. Now, if you want this recipe, I have two recipes up for this one. I have uh, the um, a talking video where I explain it to you, and then I have a non-talking uh, video for the people that don't want to hear me explain why I do what I do to my regatta. Now, I didn't put this in a basket to make it all nice and pretty, because this is basically going to get chopped up with some spinach and it's going to go into a ravioli so i didn't even bother trying to mold it just dumped it in a container and into the fridge it goes but now i'm not even going to put that back i just want to show you but for people who don't want to go through this process i know a lot of people says you know what i tried but i don't seem to be getting enough weight i don't know what i'm doing wrong well number one you need fresh nuts to make regatta you need fresh nuts and with those fresh nuts you're going to make a milk that you're going to blend up first you have to soak them then you have to blend up you're going to see i have a video up you can just simply go look and that's how you're going to make a regatta if you do it right you can't go wrong trust me you cannot go wrong if you do exactly what i show you on the video you cannot go wrong and it's so satisfying because this regatta tastes no different than that regatta your mom used to buy or you used to buy uh, when it was from dairy milk and if you liked that regatta, you're going to love this regatta because besides it tasting fantastic, we didn't have to hurt any animals to get this product. Now, if you don't want to go through all of that and say, you know what, I don't have time, please, I, is there any other recipe? Somebody emailed me and says, can you show me how you can make a regatta without having to go through the procedure of trying to make the milk and then uh, let it sit and let it cool off and try and separate the whey from the curds can you show me how else you can make it well yes there's an easier way to make it and if you look at it it's almost identical to that the only difference is it is a little well it's not almost identical it's not identical it's almost identical this one here uh, is a little softer not as firm but you could probably make it firm if you want. You'd have to again sit and put it through and get the weight out of it. But you don't want to do that. So you're going to get a texture that's a little softer than this one. But if you're using it in lasagna, I say go ahead and make this one. It really isn't a problem because you want your lasagna to be as moist as you can plus the noodles are going to absorb a lot of the moisture that's in the products you're going to put into your lasagna so i would say if you're in a hurry and you don't want to do this then you can make something like this this is also good if you're making a ravioli so i say yes make this one now this one here i don't have a recipe for you today but i will just show you the difference but i will make a recipe where you can follow this one uh, this one has a few ingredients plus what i add to this one is kappa carrageenan i have not made this with the agar yet but i will be trying an agar version of this can't guarantee how it's going to come out i'll probably give you an update how it came out but this one here i did use a kappa now if you don't want to use the kappa it's going to be a little wet now you have no choice but to get the weight out of it if you want a firmer texture otherwise you're going to have a really wishy-washy regatta if you're okay with that go ahead and do it that way but you want your regatta to be firm because when you start adding other ingredients such as spinach and other stuff you want it you see look how beautiful that regatta is you see that where this one here it's more soft it's a little more wet but still doable this is creamier this has just a little bit oh my god very little 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 feel of granular very little if you if you're not used to it you won't even notice it but you do need to have um vitamix you need to have a very powerful blender otherwise you won't get it creamy and then you're going to say oh my god that has has bits in it or it tastes like there's pieces of nuts in it if your blender is not strong enough it's not going to get it creamy so i say either a vitamix which is 
you know, expensive. A lot of people can do that. But if you can't do a Vitamix, I say get yourself a Nutribullet. A Nutribullet, not a bullet. It has to be a Nutribullet because that's got a, a stronger motor and it's going to get it as creamy as possible. Now, if I had put this in my... Um, in my uh, Vitamix, it would probably be as creamy as this, but not as firm as that. Remember, if you're not doing it this way, it won't be as, as dry as this. It's going to be a little more, a little more wet. But like I said, still doable, guys. If you're making a lasagna, this is fantastic. You could just glob it on top of your lasagna or spread it on your lasagna. And if you're making a... Uh, Raviolis again, you can mix some greens with this and then you can make your little ravioli pouches Which is going to be just as great. So just to show you two different ways of making ricotta I have this one here is up. There's two videos I have a talking and non-talking video up to you the talking one explains why I do certain things and the non-talking straightforward and That's it this one here. I still have to make you the video so I'll hopefully have this one by the week and I will put it up and easy, easy way of making regatta without having to sit there and wait like a whole day or two to get the way out of your regatta. So there you go. Just a little, a little video to show you that there's different ways of doing things. If you don't want to do it the long way, you could do a, a little shortcut. The shortcut is just as good, not as great, but just as good to you. Now, if you want it a little firmer like this one, there's a little hint and tip you can make. Basically, you get some very clean paper towels like this, and you're going to fold it, and you're going to place it right on top of your ricotta, and you're going to put it upside down. This will pull out as much, and you're going to put it in a plate, obviously. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be doing. You see, you don't want to, it's not going to pick up the regatta, it's just going to pick up some moisture. So, this is going to go onto a plate. I'm going to get one now. There we go. And that's going to help pick up some of the moisture out of here. Not that much, but it will pick up some. As you could tell, if you touch this, it already starts feeling wet. So, there you go. A way, just a, a way of picking up some of the moisture, extra moisture that this one has, that that one there doesn't have. Make sure it's either clean paper towels or uh, clean paper towels, or you need to have a clean linen that you can uh, you can use. And if you're not ready to make this regatta uh, or whatever you're using it in, uh, check it every once in a while and change your paper if it gets wet. But there you go. I'm gonna put some more paper underneath. Like I said, this one's a little wet compared to this one, but there's different ways of doing things that you can take some of that moisture out. So there you go, guys. Just a small hint to show you different ways of making delicious vegan food, guys. And you know what? You will never know the difference. You eat this regatta right here, and you're going to think it was from a dairy cow. And guess what? We didn't hurt any animal making this. And this one here is for the guys that don't have time to take a day or two to make regatta. They just want to do something fast, and they don't want to fuss. You can make it this way. And I'm going to put up a video for you, hopefully this week, and show you how easy it is to make this regatta. And I mean easy. You can't get it easier than this. And then you could put this in so many dishes. So there you go, guys. And guess what? The next video that you're going to see is probably me and Erica making beautiful spinach and regatta raviolis. And you can also stuff shells, guys. If you like the pasta shells, you can stuff the shells with this. So, so good. So I'll show you uh, in my next video how we make our regatta uh, ravioli and I'll see you in my next